Hello my fellow warriors and welcome back to Skyrim Special Edition. Uh, this time the mod that I'm doing, and there goes the horse that I just rode over here, uh, is called, I believe, the Black Tower or something along those lines. Uh, I'll have to let you know for sure because, yeah, I don't really know. Um, I mean, I know something along those lines, I'll, I'll, and this is definitely going to be a multi-part uh, mod series because it, this is supposed to have like two quest lines attached to it. So anyways, uh, yeah, I had to uh, do a, a carriage ride to uh, Winterhold, which is up there. You can see the bridge that goes to the, um, the Mage's College. And that's because down the cliff below, there's this dead dude here. So, and he's the Black Tower Island Courier. Ooh. Is that better than my bow? Damage of 50. No, it's not. Oh, whoop, wrong one. Okay. I'll take the arrows, though, most definitely. Ooh. There. Ooh, I'll take the healing. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'll take this too, because it's worth something. I can sell it. Alright. Uh, okay. Items. We are going to books. Uh, letter. Alright. We have need of any who can offer assistance. Our island is under oppressive control of a madman and his followers who have taken residence in the Black Tower. Uh, if any can help, there is a teleportation book prepared to take you to the island. The rewards will be great if you can help. Once you arrive, you will find orders and a scroll in a box stashed behind one of the homes near the tower gate. I can go no further. I have done what I can. Once you arrive, you will find orders and a scroll in a box stashed behind one of the homes near the tower gate. Oh, goody. Ugh. And yes, I know I said in the retirement mod videos that... I was going to do the uh, Forgotten City uh, first, and I have a hair on my mic, uh, Forgotten City next, but um, I want to level up a little bit more before I get to that point, and I don't want to cheat to level up anymore like I did for the uh, retirement mod. Alright, so, new spell learned, teleport to Black Tower Island. Okay. Would it be under powers? Citizens control. Oh, okay. Command animal. Huh. Okay. Ah, there we go. Bruh. Okay. Uh, whoa. I, I love the quest mods that add entirely new lands, you know, it doesn't just throw something into the vanilla, you know, land of Skyrim or Solstheim, you know, it's got actual new lands and everything. I should probably put this away because they may not like me showing up with my sword out. I'll go ahead and put healing back on again. Okay, uh, let's see, it's supposed to be a something stashed in a box behind... One of the houses outside the tower. Hi! Ooh, you're wearing ebony armor, aren't you? Well, aren't you cool? You're like super tall, dude. And you don't talk at all. Must not have uh, done any voice work. Is it getting like really dark or is that my imagination? What's that? What's that? Look, it's glowing. Ooh, what is that? Is that the house I'm supposed to go to? What is that? It's a force field and it's protect it's protecting the place. Huh. Alright, I'm looking for a box. Of some sort. Oh, it's getting like really dark. And it's like really sunny outside my window, so it's making it... Did it say inside or outside the gate? I could swear it said outside the gate. Wouldn't this technically be the gate? 
Okay, I'm gonna check the thing again. Uh, let's see. Uh, once you arrive, you'll find orders and a scroll in a box stashed behind one of the homes near the tower gate. Okay, it didn't say inside or outside. Okay. So, I'm looking for a house with a box. There's a box. Is that a box? That's a box. That's a box that doesn't have anything in it. What is about you? Are you a box? Nah, well, I mean, you're a box, but you're not the box I'm looking for. Are you a box? You're a box. Are you the box? You're not the box. Um, anybody, are there any other boxes? Anywhere? Uh, going once. Going twice. Uh, going two and a half times? Two and three quarters? And not having any luck right now. Man, I, it is so freaking dark right now on my screen. This is ridiculous. I mean, seriously, I don't know how dark it is for you all, but I mean, for me, it's like freaking dark. I wish I could find a bench or something to sit on because I would pass the time until it hits day again. So I can't see Jack right now. Uh, <laughs> I am having no. Oh, hey, 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 hey. What are you staring at? Shut up. I just want to sit down. Ah, oh, Batman. Okay, um, yeah, it's 8 in the afternoon, so, or in the evening. So I'm going to wait 12 hours till it's morning again. Is this not exciting to watch? Well, it's passing the time. I'm going to shut my laptop off. There we go. <clears throat> I turned my laptop on because I couldn't, ah, much better. Oh, I can see things now. Uh, because I couldn't find the dude's body. Well, just as soon as I hit the power button on the laptop, I started riding along the coast again, and sure enough, found it. So I turned my laptop on for nothing. All right. Um, I'm still not having any luck. It said near the gate, though. But see, there's a gate right there. Is that the gate? Uh, ooh, there's a box. Is that the box? You're not the box. Can somebody please tell me what the box is? What are you? Oh, you, your boxes. Oh, you got you got things. You got you got you got lots of things, but you're you're not the box though. So I am extremely confused as to what. I'm supposed to be doing I mean I know those are the quests and I'm supposed to take them but which should I do first should I do the actual black tower quest or should I do the Aegis ruins quest that's the main quest that this whole thing is all about I don't know what that is and I love ruins so much Okay, well, I guess I can just take them both, or then, so Castle Dungeon Key orders. Oh, this must be what he's talking about then, because there's the, well, that's a spell tome, though, that's not a scroll. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about the stupid scroll, or box, or whatever it is. Okay, um, Falkreath, I'm not doing Falkreath yet. Sack, that's the one I want. It's me. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. Please, if you get this letter, please, come find me. Colina. Aww. I don't know who Colina is, but that kind of makes me sad. Oh, there's Sex Journal. Okay. <laughs> I've gotten permission to head to the Aegis Ruins. Is that how you say Aegis or is it Aegis? I, I, 
I've always said ages. <clears throat> um, we have lost contact with the mining colony we established there and need to find out what happened. The mines are too vital for our trade routes to lose control. Hot loose. You spelled lose wrong. Uh, we we have to reestablish the trade and commissions. Or, uh, we have to. Uh, gosh dang it. We have to reestablish. And I'm making fun of them for their spelling. And here I can't even talk. We have to reestablish the trade and communications ASAP. We lucked out with the Aegis Ruins being right there. Uh, those ruins make a perfect base of operations to manage the nearby mines. Those ruins are big enough to hold a whole dang city, so e expansion will never be an issue. I do often wonder what happened to the previous residents, but their loss is our gain. Of course, with a colony that size, religion was bound to invade there also. I told them not to send those dang religious artifacts there with the miners, but would they listen? Why couldn't they just keep business separate from church? I just know they have something to do with all this. I'm not looking forward to the political mess that's about to erupt. <clears throat> the odd thing about all this is the night before we lost communication with the colony, I received a letter from Kalina just days before. It's not like her to sound this way. Hopefully my journey there will solve two problems. Okay. So, yeah, okay. Alright, uh, so I need to... Hey, it gave me a spell, right? I think. Nope. Let's just go with all. Um, did I miss something? No! Oh, okay. So it was it okay? That must that was the boxes you told. I don't know. Oh, my brain just doesn't want to work at all right now. Boom. And these uh, and th this is one of those video types that I was talking about where it's going to be longer than um, what I've been doing the ten fifteen minutes. I'm just going to start doing videos according to, no, that's not what I want, according to how long I feel they need to be. Wait, didn't I have a shield? Yeah, I did. Ooh. Okay, I'm back. I, um, I had to stop the video so I could change my, uh, my settings, uh, on my dark, uh, brightness and contrast a little bit because I seriously in this cavern I couldn't see anything I, I have a small uh, was it 24 inch yeah 24 inch uh, element TV that's uh, my my primary monitor the, the other monitor is a 42 inch Vizio TV that's currently in the living room I use it when I just sit down to watch YouTube videos and TV and stuff so it's all hooked up with string of HDMI cables. This is freaking cool. I just want to stop and say that real fast. Well designed, people. I love the ruin. They remind me of Alien Ruins from uh, Oblivion. Oh, I love those so much. I mean, the Dwemer Ruins are cool and everything, but for some reason the Alien Ruins really piqued my interest. I'm a big nerd when it comes to ancient um, civilizations and stuff, archaeology and everything. Man, this is so reminiscent of Alien Ruins. She, that lady in the letter was, or the dude, no, as a dude, not a lady, um, was talking about how he wanted to know the what happened to the people or he's curious about what happened to people I'm really curious man this would, just think about how awesome this city would have been to live in underground and everything oh hey that's filled in I mean it's beautiful ow my face 
<laughs> Wouldn't that be funny to see Batman do that? Open the gate. <laughs> the incompetent Batman. That, that's... Okay. So... Ooh. What's over there? Ooh. There are things. Do, do, do. Do do do. <laughs> and of course, the incompetent Batman, he doesn't take a Batmobile because he doesn't have one. <laughs> he uh, he takes a carriage and when he sits down inside the carriage. And I was thinking about this when I uh, was fast traveling to Winterhold to, uh, to start this mod. I uh, I had to hire the carriage to take him there because I hadn't discovered Winterhold yet. And <laughs> Batman sits down back of the carriage with, with his head kind of down a little bit and his hands folded in his lap. I was like, it'd be hilarious to see Batman do that. You know, just sit down in the back of the carriage, head down like... <sighs> <laughs> just kind of sigh and resignation like, well, I'm a loser. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see a door. See that door? That's a door. It goes somewhere. World's greatest detective. There's a door. I better lead somewhere. Whoa, that was almost bad. Where did that go? I don't want to drop down there and find out, but which it just goes to the other area of our, yeah, yeah. It goes yeah. So I went down through there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Men the room. Ooh, look at this! Wow. For being uh, ancient ruins, this place is. Whoa, we're getting some weird. Look at that. Look at the lighting. Boom, boom. Got some lighting issues in this mod. But yeah, for being ancient ruins, they sure are pretty well preserved in here. Oh, does it do a ring around the tower? Oh, that is cool. Open ruins receiving bridge. I'm gonna stop saying, trying to say the name. Oh, whoa. This is creepy. This is super creepy. Oh, dude. Okay, I guess I'm going to the receiving halls. This is so creepy. Oh, boy. That's never a good thing when you have to pull the chain to open it. Very, very awesome job on the lighting effects. This is amazing. This is about on par with uh, the Vault 1080 mod that um, that uh, NVIDIA did for Fallout 4. I mean, with the lights and everything. They did an awesome job with the lighting and the shadows and everything. Made it really creepy. Okay, I have arrived at the receiving halls only to find it dark and desolated. Well, yeah. There should have been a security detail here to greet me, and there wasn't. Debris and materials were thrown about as if in panic. So far, I found no one. The whole place appears to have been locked down from the inside. Getting around is going to be difficult. I'm going to progress as as deeper, as deep into the ruins as as far as I safely can to see if I can find anyone. I will leave these journals with any progress I've made or any information I've obtained in the event I go missing or anyone follows after me. Something definitely is not right. Hmm. Empty wine bottle. That's what it is. They all got drunk and had a party. What? 
the crap is that? That's where the candlelight spell comes in. That alteration, yeah. Oh, jeez. What the heck? Can I hit these things? can't uh so how do i get in there oh Dang. forgot how long does candlelight last should i go first person probably make it easier to see things all right i'm gonna go old school on this can i despell or nope great So much for sneaking. Oh, jeez! Oh my gosh, these things are tough. That was not cool. Okay, forget candlelight. At least for now. Well... Gosh dang it. That's why there were health potions. Is there any more health potions anywhere? Got burn books and stuff, that's cool. Until Hitler was here. This is creepy. It's spawn ash. Okay, I'll take it, whatever it is. Oh, or well, how do they still know I'm here? They're gonna know I'm here no matter what. Whoa. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? You want some of this? You want some of this? How about a little of this? How about a little of this? Yeah! Uh-oh. Okay, um. No. You know what? I'm going to stop this episode here because it's been going on for a little while. Uh, we will continue off right at this spot. Um, yeah, in the next video. So thank you for joining me in this episode of uh, Skyrim Special Edition, the Black Tower Mod. I am the Holy Warrior. God bless you all.